Well, good morning everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Motorhome in fun. As you can see, it's a lovely Saturday morning. We're out and about up the Twywell Hills and Dales in Northamptonshire. We're just going to go on a little walk this morning. We're going to go through the woodland area and possibly through to Twywell and back. So um, come with us and uh, see what you think, guys. Right. Let's head through the gate and I think we're going to drop into the woodland area this morning. You can see a little bit muddy today so we've got the old walking boots on. Haven't been up here for a few weeks but um, this time of the year it does get a little bit muddy up here. It's normally a boots or a, a welly job but um, Never mind, it's a lovely local walk. As some of you might know, reached a new milestone overnight. 1,400 subscribers, so um, it's a big thank you to those who still watch the channel. Right, head down into the woodland area now. Come on, Bo. Come on. Right. This guy's off a lead, as you can see. We'll take Bo off shortly once we get into the walk and she's a little bit more settled. We're not going to go through the, the gullet area today. I think that could be a little bit wet and boggy down there so um, we're going to continue with the path which runs closest to the A14 so if you do pick up any road noise guys um, that's basically what it is so that way is what they call the Twywell Gullet so we're going to avoid that today and we're going to continue on our route up this way see autumn now all the leaves are on the floor some lovely autumn colors about we're going to carry straight on we're not going to go up the steps that's what we call or what i call over the top so as i say we'll go this way as I say, you can hear the road noise, sorry guys. Once we get through the woodland area, we'll probably have a drone flight. See if we can pick up the colours from the trees. Anyway, everybody, we still have lots of footage to still come from our last tour of Whitby and Filey. Uh, mainly finally we've still got some oh, walks and drone flights and beach walks etc um, Whitby I think we mainly got drone flights from Whitby Abbey etc but um, they're all worth a watch and as I say I still think we've got about two weeks more footage to come from there so um, please enjoy them boots on this morning it's a little bit muddy and sticky in places 
expression, how are you expressing it? We don't come here an awful lot over the autumn and winter it does it's not so much myself it's um it's the dogs who get so mucky and dirty right i think we're going to change plans a little bit guys i think the road noise is possibly too much for this video we were going to go straight on which normal circumstances we like going but um, I think um, we'll go to our left and we'll either go through the um, centre of Trywell Plantation or we'll skirt round the outer edge as I say mainly just to um, avoid the road traffic noise you see those off a lead Guy's gone up there chasing something. There she is, she popped back out again. As I say, beautiful walk this. Literally, literally two or three miles away from home. And um, as I say, it's almost like being in a Another part of the country reminds me so much of Yorkshire, Derbyshire, and that's why they call it the Hills and Dales. Right, I think we'll go through the middle this time. I don't think we've brought you this way before on one of our walks, shaped by humans, reclaimed by nature. Let's head this way. I think Bo's lagging behind. She'll come. While we're using the Action 5 camera yet again today, we're trying rock steady mode at 25 frames per second in wide mode. You can see, not too many people about this morning. I spoke to a few people, but it um, looks like the woodland area is pretty clear today. Joys of coming out early. It's about 8.30 in the morning this Saturday. As I say, we're going to get to the end of here, possibly walk through the fields and through Twywell. Just have a little wander through the village, up by the church, etc. And then come back the opposite way, or the other way, into Twywell Hills and Dales. You see, lots of the trees are losing their leaves now. It's not too cold. Today we're currently starting at about 8 degrees, it's dry. We're not going that way, we're going this way, straight on. Come on, come on girls. Stay with Ian. Right. This guy's saying, let's go that way. Say no, we're going this way. Well, we've got a slight improvement on the foot, everybody. Uh, I've been doing lots of exercises, massage. I've got a massage gun. I've got an ultrasound machine as well, so um, I think that's been helping. Right, 
also to bring you up to date. No further news on the shoulder surgery at the moment. No calls from the hospital, guys. So I'm um, afraid that will happen when it happens. And, but um, if it happens all sooner, the better for me. Right. And this guy wants to go down to that water pond. There's another dog about, and I think she's a little bit wary. A bit of a bouncy Labrador, which she doesn't like. And that, but um, you going in the water? You going in? Normally in the summer months, she loves going in there. Are you coming? Are you going? Are you going in? No. I hope Bo doesn't because Mum's going to kill me if she goes back dirty. Oh, this guy's having a little paddle. Right, come on then. Let's head back through. Lovely little seat up here as well. And let the dogs play. You can have a little sit down and a rest. I think that's been put in memory of somebody. I don't know what it says. Um, part of the surrounding area is dedicated to Jonathan Downey, 15th 0371 to 0707 Remembered with the love and laughter by all his family and friends. Nice little touch. Right, we'll continue. Bo's coming now. It's nice Bo's off a lead. She normally just has a, a lead walk. Mum's too scared to let her off. Frightened she won't come back and um, Obviously, Mum hasn't got a lot of mobility, so she can't go running after her. We could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, we'll say, see it now. How beautiful is this? Who doesn't Go like the lovely woodland walk? Leave a little note and you do the stress and everything. Let's get the dogs. The way you look somewhere different with nature at its best. As I said to you, all in previous vlogs, guys. We got um, nothing else planned. Motor home in for the next few months. Next trip planned is Easter to Uphill Marina and campsite it's near Western Super Mare. And that, as I say, we need to get the shoulder fixed. And that, um, have got an MOT on the motor home is coming Friday. Um, we brought that forward a little bit because I don't want it to lapse while I'm not driving. So um, we've probably got that about six weeks early. But um, I just wanted to get it done. Right, I think at the end here we're gonna we're gonna take a right turn. Ways you can actually go to the fields. We can go straight on, up to our left, and drop back down, or down to the right. We'll go to the right today, which is where we would have come out if we took the other route. So, we're going to head into Quirrell Village. Down here, Sky. Yeah, the country is so pretty with the wind blowing in 
Right, so we'll head out of the, the woodland area now. The route to the right over there would have been where we would have come out, but um, as I said, I felt it'd probably be a little bit noisy, that walk today. So um, let's head out into the fields and um, see if we can get some drone footage as well. Right, so there's a sign if you come in from this way. Welcome Woodland Trust Twilwell Plantation. Come on, Bo. Right, she's lagging behind. Come on, Bo. Bo, this way. Right, head through the fields, find a nice location, set the drone down, have a little fly. We normally go over towards this single tree on its own. Doesn't look like there's any cows in the field today. Normally we've been coming this way and there's been a herd of cows, but um, no, they must be moved on. Right, I think we had a nice little drone flight. So um, we're gonna head into Twywell Village now. Dogs are going to go on their lead in a minute. Sometimes there's a few, a few sheep in this next little village field which we go through. I say that was a lovely flight over the treetops and just show you Twywell Village as well. Right up the steps. Wait for me Sky. Yeah there are some sheep in there so we've got to be careful. Right we'll head through here. I'll say you can probably see the sheep. You might hear some gunshots in the background. I think there's a, a local shoot going on. I think we're probably pheasant season now. There we go, you probably heard it. Well, just show you those lovely autumn colours. All those orangey bronze coloured leaves. Right, heading through the track. If you know Twy well, you've got the allotments on the right hand side here. And um, we shall veer off to the left down the pathway. And across the road you've got the old Friar pub which is closed down. Real shame. The only village pub there was and um, unfortunately not anymore. So um as I say, head down here. Lots of you locals who are probably watching this will, will recognise some of these buildings. 
Right, so that was the old Fryer pub restaurant. As I say, was renowned in the area for lovely meals, Sunday dinners, but um, no more. Somebody got the Christmas feeling already in October, I guess. Right, we'll head up this way. As I say, we might just walk into the church grounds. Some beautiful buildings here, some lovely cottages. say to people Northamptonshire is a little of a hidden gem everybody drives through it and nobody stops which is good for all us residents doesn't get too busy right let's take a left we're going on to Church Lane this way Sky Right, this is a lovely church at Twywell. Have a quick wander. Not even sure the name of the church. Someone's left a wheelbarrow full of apples. Got one dog that wants to come and one that doesn't. Right. I look into your eyes, I see we're out of time. We'll just have a little wander around the perimeter, no around the graveyard. Be open, guys. We run so fast, maybe we got too high. But I remember days of wonder. We were always gonna last. Yes, I do remember days in the last. guys so it's one church we can't show you in never mind we'll be no hard goodbyes thank god we're civilized be on our separate ways as we fade into gray but I still miss the way the way you used to feel Wander through the village, back to the top. You can probably see there it's a millionaire properties there. The flow over with a drone, swimming pool, tennis courts in there. Manor. 
house. Telephone box, full of books now. You've got a defibrillator there. Post box. And the building coming up on my left, using years ago, it was the, the old village shop and post office. So this is what they call the green. So that in his days was the village post office and the shop. Do correct me, me if I'm wrong, residents of Twywell. As I say, I always seem to remember it was, but um, I could be mistaken. It might have just been the shop and the village post office. It could have been down the road in the cottages past that bend on the right that what is it martin's yard there I think they're doing some barn conversions at the moment i think it was a farm building at one time obviously of no use now renovating it looks like the perimeter wall has seen some better days Right, so we're just going to veer off shortly to the left, take the footpath to the hills and dales. Um, further up the road, you've got the old village school, which is no more now, which is a girl guide centre. Done some work in there in recent years, put some fire doors on and things, but... Um, yeah, sadly, no need for a village school now. Not too sure where all the locals go. Possibly into Thrapston or Woodford. A lovely modern style new house there. That's called the Normandy House. We've got the old Mason. cottages on the left and right as you go up and um, on the way out of the village there's some council houses on the right hand side very nice ones as well been privately bought up now I think so um, we're just going to take a left now this takes us back through to the hills and dales Hope you're enjoying our Saturday morning walk so far. Do comment, do like guys. If you're liking what you see, do subscribe and hit that bell for any future updates. Right, down the pathway. open fields right coming back this way from the village it's about a mile in total so 20 25 minutes everybody as I say it's a little slow wander for us so it'll probably be 25 and that sure if we'll get the drone up again but um, we're happy we've had one flight this morning right don't forget when you get to the end of the walk you'll see Nicola at the barista coffee bus 
lovely coffee, cakes, snacks, etc. Guys, she needs all the trade she can get. Everybody, as they say, probably the best coffee for miles around. So much better than your Costa Coffee, Starbucks, McDonald's, and that it is really a cup of coffee to die for. going. So we're heading back into the hills and dales. This is a public footpath. Palmer recently put this wire fence here probably 12 18 months ago. So um, I do like you to keep your dogs on the lead as well. There are normally cattle or sheep in these fields so I don't want dogs Chasing the livestock. Well, we just come by this. Um, what do you think that's a badger set down there? Looks freshly dug out. It's a big hole, certainly too big for rabbits. Um, yeah, badgers to me. Right, we're slowly making our way back. As I say, this little footpath section is probably about half a mile in total, 10 minutes, and then we should be into the back end of the hills and dales. Uh, we can either go through the main field or go through the gate what they call white stones but um, I think we'll just go through the main field today so it could be about a three mile walk in the end I think or a little bit more so we've been going about an hour and 30 minutes at the moment She wants to be off a lead. We're nearly at this end of this current footpath. Right, coming up to the entrance in now. We've got the kissing gate here to go through. And then, as I say, there's a metal gate on the right, which we can go through the white stones or carry on through the main hills and dales so there's a gateway there not there sky we're going this way that'd be too muddy that way that way does tend to get a little bit muddy just a few yards in so um as i say we'll go this way come on sky we'll head through the main field Got no ball with us today, a ball thrower. Did completely forget guys and um, to be honest, Sky hasn't asked today. Uh, but we normally do lose balls here. She tends to put them down the rabbit holes. I think we met about half a dozen people today so far on this lovely walk a little bit dull and overcast but um, it's October so we can't really expect any more let's say we're into the hills and dales now sometimes there's some highland cattle in one of the fields but um, I think they're not there at the moment. Um, Hills and Dales had some visitors overnight a few weeks back. Um, your local travellers, I should say. And um, 
they pinched a lot of the gates a lot of the metal gates and that um, for scrap value I guess well would you believe it just as I say it's a nice day we get a little bit of light drizzle fall on us never mind ten more minutes guys and um, we'll be back to the car and then it's a Saturday morning trip to our local small little Sainsbury's for French bread and Saturday treats jam donuts oh and the coffee from Nicola so you literally walk this we can vary in directions if you don't want to do the wooden walk you can literally just come here through the fields different ways literally a couple of miles down the road from us well I do hope we're not bored you too much everybody who's still watching this may probably be I'm not too sure probably about a 30 minute vlog in the end and that for you to get through but um, lovely place to come and that's how I just thought this Saturday morning why not do a walk as I say we reached that new milestone overnight 1400 subscribers which no doubt it will drop back under but um, we'll gain a few as we go and I say hopefully on to the next one of 1500 in the next few months so um say it would help if people watching now would hit that subscribe button so uh, you'll see lots of footage in the future walks our travel footage drone footage and that guy so um there's plenty already there to go back and look at probably over the last five years so as you can see in front of us this is one of the gate gates which were stolen so they can't put cattle back in the fields. I would imagine they're waiting for the insurance claim to be processed. It's new, but um, I guess they run the risk of losing them again. This guy's taking off the beaten track a little bit here. Another section where the gates were stolen. So everywhere close to the car park I thought let's have the gates. Right, we're gonna conclude our walk here everybody. We're gonna um, stick the dogs in the car and then grab a quick coffee, head off to Sainsbury's, get some yummy donuts so thanks again if you took the time to watch comment and especially like putting a like there does help and um, then YouTube tends to promote the video a little bit more to other people and that's how we get more subscribers and watches everybody so it's a thanks from Ian it's a thanks from Sky and it's also a thanks from Bo today so we'll see you all on the next one so we're just coming up to the barista bus you can see how popular it is a few people standing outside here as I say we'll put the dogs back in the car queuing for a coffee right we'll get the dogs in the car 
and um, we'll grab a coffee yourself. Right, bye for now. <laughs>